Hello, Internet! Welcome to Archery Adventures with Jim Grizzly Kent. And today, he's going to review a Mongolian-style bow. Hello, Internet. What we're going to be looking at today is uh, this. This is the Mongolian-style horsebow. It's, it's the unique laminated uh, Mongolian horsebow from Arcus. It's handmade in Hungary, so technically I think that probably makes this a Hungarian horsebow. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's a really nice laminated bow. Now, the reason why I'm making a point in saying it's a laminated bow, if you've done any research into horsebows or you're thinking about getting a horsebow, most likely the sort of horsebow you've seen is this sort, which is the leather wrapped uh, horsebow, usually fairly cheap, usually under a hundred pounds, um, sort of fairly light draw weight. Oh, just you get fairly heavy draw weights as well, but fairly light draw weights, um, fairly fairly cheap. And the reason why is because that is essentially a fiberglass bow wrapped in leather, which is why it's wrapped in leather. It's a good indicator that it's not wood; it's fiberglass. So um, yeah, I'm just comparing it to to this, this this is what I would call a proper bow, a laminated bow, clear clear fiberglass. Um, the draw length, uh, it goes up to about 30, 32 inches, I think, the draw length on this. And winds lovely. Um, you don't have a shelf, uh, so it's, you're shooting off the hand like you would a uh, traditional English longbow or, uh, or sort of a, a simple stick bow or self bow. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't shoot a lot of horse bows. I do shoot horse bows every now and again. I'm not into them that much purely because the, the lack of shelf. It, you know, I lose a bit of accuracy, um, but uh, but yeah, it really is a, a beautiful bow uh, from a from a horsebow point of view. Uh, the woods, I, I don't know if you can see the woods in there. I'll, I'll do some close ups later on. But yeah, it's beautiful grain in the woods. Um, the whipping on on the on these uh, limb tips is absolutely fantastic. A lot a lot of uh, horsebows, the, the whipping tends to be sort of fairly cheap and unravels. This this hasn't. This is this is really solid. Um, yeah, really, really nice bow. The other interesting feature about this bow, it's uh, it's as it's got an as it's asymmetric limbs. So the short limb is is lower, uh, shorter than the the top limb. So that would be for from a horsebow point of view, sort of on horseback, you you know that bottom limb isn't going to get in the way of your horse, which which is really nice. But yeah, I'm really impressed with this bow. So what we're going to do now is uh, let's go shoot it, see what we think. So here we are shooting the uh, the unique horse bow. Um, if you notice, I've got a glove on because shooting off the hand, um, you can it can hurt. Uh, as the feather goes goes past your hand, I've, you know some people put a plaster on. Some people don't bother. Some people are pretty hardcore. I'm not that hardcore anymore. So I've got a glove. Now some people do say if you're both set up correctly, you don't need a, a glove or any protection. But uh, no. I, bruised like a peach so uh i'm gonna keep a glove on if you don't mind but uh let's have a little shoot see what we think now these arrows aren't matched to the bow um i haven't even got a knocking point on here so uh so you'll have to excuse uh where they go but uh yeah let's see let's just draw it up have a shot see what we see what we think that's nice i mean it's um it's weird. I don't know if you've ever drawn up a horse bow before, but uh, it's almost, not exactly like, but it's almost like a reverse compound. It, it's sort of, at the end, you get a satisfying extra bit of poundage, but it, it doesn't make it any more difficult to pull. It's quite, quite strange. If you've never drawn a horse bow before, I recommend giving it a try. It's, 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 a, it's a strange feeling. It's these, it's these limbs unwind, and all the power's come in from here, and it's almost like it flicks the arrow rather than sort of shoots it like a normal bow, but... Uh, but yeah, that was that was good. Let's just try another couple of a uh, couple of arrows. I mean, I can still feel that through the glove, <laughs> but these are some pretty uh, pretty aggressive uh, feathers. But yeah, that uh, feels feels nice. It's nice to shoot. Um, there's there's a bit of a a flick. It's not a hand shock, but you can feel it really really putting some power into those arrows i mean this the poundage on this it's marked up at i think it's marked up at 40 45 so between those um but yeah so it's a decent poundage but uh, but yeah it's good it's good fun 
uh, yeah, I'm shooting sort of uh, some large profile sort of feathers out of it. Just they look quite nice. But uh, but yeah, I've also I've also if you notice, I've just got a bit of a bit of red tape on there just to protect the bow. Um, because I don't want to damage it. Yeah. Last one. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I'm going to go and get those and have a bit more of a shoot with it. And uh, I'll talk to you later on. So, we've had a lot of fun shooting these horse bows today. We've uh, shot them at different distances, different targets, had a great deal of fun. It's been quite nice not having to worry about sort of accuracy too much, just getting out there and shooting, which is really good for you. But, uh, but yeah, they're really nice. The construction, they're really well put together. I mean, these limb tips are superb, really solid, and there's a nice deep groove in there that keeps the string where it's supposed to be. Um, now, I'm not gonna give you a history lesson about the horse bow, uh, but I will put in the description uh, some uh, interesting links if you're uh, interested in the history of the horse bow. But uh, one thing I will say, I have seen a lot of people shoot uh, horse bows with a thumb ring. Unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of a thumb ring to, to demonstrate that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's you put the arrow on your thumb side and, and sort of draw it back like this and then release the thumb. It's a whole different way of doing it. But uh, I'll put some interesting links about sort of um, traditional Mongolian and Hungarian archery in the description. Yeah, so this bow retails at two hundred and ninety-one pounds and seventy pence. Um, so yeah, I just basically wanted to show you what a decent a decent horse bow is capable of and how it shoots. And I think you'll agree it shoots really nicely, uh, very smooth, and winds beautifully. So yeah, thank you very much uh, for the people at Merlin to uh, sending me that. We've had uh, a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go home now and have a nice warm cup of tea. Take care, shoot straight. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.